Robbo, first of all, congratulations, 150 games for Dagenham and Redbridge. Just sum up your feelings following hitting that milestone. Uh, it's obviously uh, a, a great achievement, great milestone in my career to have played uh, 150 games for, for such, a, such a great club. Um, it's a great milestone anywhere, I think, in this day and age to have played 150 games because players move around so much nowadays. Um, but it's obviously one that I'm chuffed with and uh, obviously not so much with the result, but got to mark it with a goal, which was uh, somewhat of a consolation. So, yeah, it was, it was nice. You've been here since 2016. If you had to, could you name a favourite memory in a dagger shirt? Yeah, easily. Scoring away at Hartlepool, I think it was 2018, 22nd or 21st of December, my first goal for Dagenham, uh, 90 plus two. And I would have took my shirt off if I weren't on a booking. <laughs> I remember um, we were 1-0 down, they were breaking. They were breaking towards, the, towards our goal and I literally scythed some lad down on the halfway line, took a booking. Then we scored, uh, Ben Goodliffe scored, 89. And we thought, yeah, we scraped a point. And then, obviously, I was on the near post on a corner. And it's gone out. Done a little bit of head tennis. And then, Tommy ran half the length of the pitch. And I'd, I, I'd ran the whole length of the pitch. And just tapped it in, yeah. And my mum and dad were there, which was nice. Which nice. Was, it was very far away, so... Yeah, it was a, that was the best memory by far. Let's talk about your sort of goal-scoring exploits. You've had four goals in your 150 appearances, three of those in your last 10. Mm-hmm. Do you enjoy playing that, for, that much further up and sort of hitting the box late? Yeah. Um, ironically, when I was a youth team player, when I was younger, that was one of my main attributes was I was a goal scorer, I think. Um, I think in, in, in my youth team, I had something like 30 appearances, but I had like a goal in every three games kind of thing it was it was part of a big part of my game um, and then obviously as time's gone on uh, I've adapted to a different position um, more of a holding ball playing mm-hmm. combative centre mid which is what uh, the majority of managers have, have used me as here and I think even Agatha will tell you when he first came he probably thought that was my most preferred or best position um, and then basically, uh, since the change in position, it's just been about um, unlocking and uh, rediscovering mm-hmm. those attributes that I knew I always had. Because in training, I never really took it away. I, I could yeah. always score and, and still do. Um, but in games, it was obviously uh, more important. In it, as the team's objective to not concede was me, my defensive work. And that's something that I had to do a lot of um, <laughs> in the 140 games yeah. before the last 10, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's just it's just uh, adaptation, evolution of how you play, and yeah, that's what I've had to do. Daryl spoke really highly of you yesterday. How big of an impact has he had in that change of role and and, and the confidence that you're playing with at the moment? Yeah, um, obviously uh, this season I didn't I didn't get off to the great start, and then um, for 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 a number of reasons I, I was out of the team for for a while. Um, and I just had to get my head down and work hard. Um, and one thing in my head that I told myself was that, um, being honest, even though I'm not playing, I still love playing football. Mm-hmm. So turning up to training every day became a priority and, and training well. Um, and that's what I basically had to like focus it down to. I had to boil down everything that was involved with the game and just put it into, I love playing football. Um, and that's what I did. That was what was in my head every day when I turned up. And, eventually started, I guess, turning, turning screws and, and, and changing the, uh, the gaffer's mind about where I should play and, 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 and me playing in general. Um, and thankfully did so because obviously over the last 10, 12 games, like obviously we haven't had the results that I think the team deserves. But I think um, amongst other people, I'm not saying it's, it's all me. It's not at all. Uh, the team is the team and the team has... has has been great, um, but I, gen- um, I genuinely feel like I have had a positive influence on the team, um, and I'm just doing my job. Um, like I said before, it's just adaptation of, of playing football. If I'm 20 yards further back in holding midfield or 20 yards further forward playing as a more attacking role, you just have to do what you're told to do. Um, and yeah, I've been, I've been enjoying it. What aspirations do you have? What would you like to achieve in a Dagenham shirt? 
I think the, the, the main objective has to be to get the team and, and the club back to the Football League, which is where ultimately they want to be and, and deserve to be. Um, everything else after that is, um, is obsolete. It doesn't matter as much. My personal achievements will never outweigh the achievements of a club, and of a team, of a, of a community, of everyone who's involved. And I think that's been the objective, especially since our, our, our new owners um, took over um, and they've been excellent and they've, they've told the fans that's, that's what our aim is. So anything less than that, I think we'll have fallen short. Um, it may not happen this year, but obviously we're putting things in place and building to, to do it in the, in the coming seasons. And just finally, obviously, it was a, a tricky result at Hartlepool. It's a really tough place to go. But we fought well. But there's an opportunity to put that right on Monday against Aldershot. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, one thing that I always say, whether you win, lose, draw, play rubbish, play well, the best thing about football is there's another game, and in this league, probably in three days or four days. So you haven't got no time to sort. You haven't got no time to get your head down um, in a negative way. You have to pick your head up. Hmm get your head down in a, in a positive way and, and get back to work because like you said it's been what three days or two days uh, feels like I only got back from Hartlepool yesterday um, but like you said there's another game right around the corner and Oldershot are another team that have probably not hit the heights that they thought they might this year maybe I, I, I don't know They in the last few seasons they've been kind of up there um, and they're obviously a, another hard-working team like, like ourselves and we've just got to outwork them and outplay them and, and get three points.